Hi everyone, who's ready for another exciting tutorial? My name is Georgia and in this video I want to show you how you can earn money while being creative. So as always in these tutorials, I like to create new projects and have you by my side showing you step by step how to do them. But in this video, I also want to give you that just that little nudge to push your creativity like never before. And how better to motivate you than showing you how you can earn money while using Pixlr. So let's just dive straight in. So first things first, why choose Pixlr at all? So I'm going to be really honest with you guys, Pixlr is not the easiest tool when it comes to creating minimal designs or really simple photography editing. There are so many different apps out there that you can use to your advantage, but it is definitely the most versatile when it comes to creating minimal or simple designs, but also absolutely thrives when it comes to that higher range of creative work. So in other words, it is definitely the best option if you're looking for a tool that is easy to use and also helps you create more challenging work. Pixlr is all about optimization. The PXZ format that we use to save our templates is the best way that you can save complex designs with minimal storage space. So simply put, if you need to be able to go back and edit your design further at a later date, then save it in that PXZ format and it will not take up very much space on your PC, on your tablet, or even on your phone and you'll still be able to go back and edit all the layers. Equally, if you don't want to edit those layers, then you can always save it as a JPEG or a PNG or even a web format, just for sort of everyday use. Other than this, Pixlr grants access to its internal library of assets. So this is just an extensive collection of graphic elements and an amazing collection of different fonts that you can use and any premium user has access to. Also something really important to know is that there is gonna be an update really soon on the graphic elements that is just gonna enable you to create even better, more extensive designs. So if you're still not sure whether Pixlr is for you, then go ahead and try it out. We have a 30 day free trial going on at the minute. You've got a whole month to decide whether you like it or not. So go ahead, log in now, just try out all the different elements to it and see whether it really is for you. Okay, so moving on to the good bit. How on earth do you earn money while using Pixlr? So the first option is simple. It is use Pixlr to create designs that you can go ahead and sell in shops online to different customers. And there are so many editable templates and pre-made canvases that you can kind of start off with. The second option is to become content creators as a part of our ambassador program. There is an email address in the description below that you can go ahead and write to us if you're interested in finding out more about this. This is a really exciting opportunity that you could grab a hold of. Okay, so now all of that's done. If you still need a bit of convincing on how easy it is to create impactful content using Pixlr, then come on, let's dive in. I'm gonna show you a few projects that you can kind of walk along step by step with me and see how you can create it. Let's get straight onto the computer. Okay, now let's just start with a story template. I'm gonna create it and then I'm going to fill the background with this nice dark red color. Now let's import the photo. I've got this image of this lady wearing sunglasses for a sunglasses ad. I'm just gonna adjust the size so that it fits the canvas really well. So here we go, we'll just pop it in the right place. Just adjust it so that it's exactly where I want it. Make sure there's space around her shoulders and stuff. And then I'm going to use the magic mask cutout tool to remove the orange background. And then I'm gonna set the blending mode here to hard light. And then let's just bring transparency down a little bit. I want to also use this bokeh tool to create kind of like a little bit of magic around her. So I'm gonna choose the bokeh shape and then I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust it so that it kind of looks exactly how I want it. So adjust the color, the size, how much, um, how many there are of them, all that sort of thing. Then once that is done, I do want to just add a little triangle to the bottom right hand corner and I'm gonna fill it with a pattern. A 
and just adjust it and fit it to where I want it. And then I'm also going to add a shadow to it and kind of choose a color that works really well with the rest of the canvas. This nice kind of dark reddish brown works nicely. And I'll also change the blend mode for this to soft light, which has a really cool effect in the background. There we go. Now, since it's a sunglasses ad, I'm gonna add some text. Talking about the sunglasses. And I'm gonna change the color. And then I'm just gonna align it to the left and choose which font I want to use. Just need to adjust it into the right place. There we go, lovely. And then just to kind of make the writing stand out a little bit more, I'm going to kind of add these little rectangular stripes to them. So I'm gonna adjust them over the writing so that I know exactly what size I want them to be. So three for each line of the text. And then once I've adjusted this just slightly, I'm going to bring the writing over those layers so that the writing stands out. And that's it. So let's move on to our next project. Okay, next project, I'm gonna select the pre-made canvas for posts. I want a gradient as the background. So I'm going to customize the gradient of this rectangle that I'm just creating now. So I'm gonna go ahead, click fill, click gradient. Then I can choose the gradient and I want a radial gradient with a yellow border and a green center. So here I can change the nozzle colors so that I can choose which colors I want them to be. So I'm gonna do yellow border, green center. Next, I want a shape in the center to position my product on it. So we're gonna create this kind of square here. And I don't want it to be the same colors as the background, so I'm gonna go ahead, click fill, click pattern. And I'm gonna kind of have a stripy horizontal pattern going on in the center here. There we go, love it. Okay, now let's add some percentage symbols around to highlight that it's a promo sale. So I'm just gonna create one here. Choose what color I want it to be. And then position it. And then I can just click Alt to duplicate it and just kind of have them dotted around the frame. So here we go. Just add some more percentage signs just to highlight that it's a promo sale. And then once all that's done, let's add another layer of text and write promo sale. And just kind of choose the color, choose the size of it. I'm gonna customize this once I've kind of adjusted it, make it to the right size, just pop it exactly where I want it to be. And then I'm going to customize it and add this sort of green outline to the text so that it works really well and it's in keeping with the colors of the canvas. Great. All done, so let's go ahead and get my product. So I'm gonna choose this image. And I'm gonna use the automatic function of the cutout to get the cutout. So I'm just it's just gonna remove the background of the image so that we've just got that nice picture of the camera right in the center there. So I'm just gonna adjust it now so that it's the right size. Then I can zoom back in and see the whole canvas, adjust it to the exact size that I want it and place it in the middle there. Now it's really obvious that that's what we've got on sale at the minute. And the last thing I want to do is just add a shadow behind the camera. 
So what I'm gonna do is create this rectangle that's the same sort of size as the camera. I'm gonna put it behind the camera or the image. And then I'm gonna click shadow. And there I can kind of play around with it so I can change the color of the shadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it this sort of dark green color. And I wanna make sure this product is blended in with my design. So if I kind of create this shadow, it's gonna help it look like it's not just being kind of plonked on top there, but it's all blended really nicely into the design of this post. Okay, there you go, so nice and easy. There it is, a post template, just done in a few clicks. So let's move on to the final project. So I've been showing you some templates that are really easy to do, but I've also used Pixlr to create more complex designs like this one right here. So I've created this design, I am super happy with it, and I just wanna use this occasion to show you how I can export the template into the PXZ format like I spoke about at the beginning of the video. So we're gonna go straight into it. As I mentioned into my intro, this format allows you to save your design and keep all of your editing capabilities so that you could come back and kind of like carry on from where you left off last time. So I'm just going to kind of do some final tweaks on this design, just adjust some of the shapes, kind of move them about a little bit. So just bear with me while I'm doing this. Just gonna make a few last minute adjustments. And as you can see, Pixlr has kind of so many more capabilities than we've shown you in this single video. We've literally just scratched the surface of, of what Pixlr can do, but hopefully it's given you a bit of an idea of what you can do. So to save it, we're gonna click File and Export Template. Then I'm gonna go ahead and keep all the titles the way it is and export it just as it is, keep all the settings the same. And there you go, that's it for saving it in the PXZ format. But I also need to save it as a JPEG for preview purposes. So here we go, we're gonna save it as a JPEG. Make sure it's high quality. And I'm gonna go ahead and download that and save it where I wanna save it. So that's it. Now I can work again on this landing page exactly where I left off. And there you go, that was my final project shown in this tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it and hopefully see you soon. Cheers.